Hey, hi Daniel. Hi, it's hey. Filippo from the upcoming. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. So you're presenting best director, and the question would be, what makes a great director in your experience? Oh, there's so many talents that you have to have combined. Uh, you have to be a great communicator. Uh, you have to deal with all these voices in your head, with all these different powers on a movie. You have to please the producers on the one hand because you're responsible of the whole endeavor. You're the captain of the ship. You have to deal with actors and their, and their problems. <laughs> uh, you have to guide them. You have to make them safe, uh, feel safe, and, and, and inspire them to be good, you know? Um, and then you have to handle the whole crew. So it's a tough job, it's the toughest job on a movie because at the end of the day, it's all on your shoulders. It's all your, your responsibility. Uh, in interviews, as actors, you can always you know, blame the director or blame someone else if it hasn't worked out. As a director, you cannot really do that because, you know, and you spend so much time working on one project as a director, much longer than we do. So it's really hard. I have the highest respect for that job. Is that a career path you ever consider for yourself? Well, sooner or later, many actors, including me, want to uh, want to try. Uh, I, I mean, potentially, possibly, I could imagine doing something, but small and intimate, something that I know what I'm telling about. Nothing, nothing too big, nothing too complicated, because I think I would. I would, I would die. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think Daniel Brühl, uh, as a director, would like? Maybe a thriller, a drama, a comedy? I'm interested in... Uh, it would hopefully be funny, <laughs> intentionally funny, yeah. uh, and probably be something personal, and maybe be sort of a drama. And I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of so many genres, but I couldn't possibly be a great horror director or sci-fi director or, or, or romantic comedy director. I don't think that would be the path, but uh, an intimate small drama with some funny elements would be yeah. my the thing, last I guess. Thing, so you work on like massive sets and also super intimate ones. How do they compare? And how does the role of the director change depending if it's like, you know, Avengers or it's like super intimate production? Well, it's a different game, it's a different uh, pressure. Uh, but what I experienced on Avengers, uh, on Captain America, um, was, for example, that I was working with two brothers, two directors, the Russo brothers, who are very strong and who didn't make me feel that I was against a huge machine. They made it feel intimate although there was a monstrous machine behind it but uh, they kept that fear completely away from from me and i think from the other actors it felt quite loose but this is then again the strength of directors who have the ability to make it look very leisure although it is not <laughs> and then um, yeah the experience can be very different i think uh, um, and ultimately to me sometimes it's not a question about money depending on the genre it is you know you cannot do film like Avengers for two euros uh, or two dollars <laughs> uh, but um, um, uh, I guess uh, if, if the story is strong if the director has a vision and is and is smart then it'll be a good film it's super important because especially nowadays we need to reach out to the people and it's important to uh, you know uh, uh, reach the fans and it's nice to see and as it was said today on stage uh, there is still the crowd, there is the audience who enjoys films and goes to the cinemas, uh, and it's many of them, so we have to preserve that because um, the cinema is struggling, as, 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 as you know, and so uh, uh, everything that, that makes the fans happy, uh, including a magazine which is so done by, by people who really have such a strong passion for cinema and gives them you know, precious information about all these projects that are, that are being done is, 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 is vital and important. There's always some that you are that that that, that, that you miss, uh, especially if you are a father of a 17 months old baby, <laughs> and <laughs> makes it harder and harder. But I, I managed to watch most of the films that I was keen to watch, and many of them were uh, presented or, or won here tonight. Uh, Get Out is is one of the standout films to me that I, I watched. I found it incredibly strong. And so many others. So uh, it was. It was a good. Yeah, uh, I hope so. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> so there's always time to go to come back for no good. But uh, no, I'm. I'm. I'm just uh, amazed. Uh, 
what, what a wonderful job they do. And I think it all comes down to Kevin Feige, who is the mastermind behind it, because it's always fresh and it's always surprising you. And Black Panther is such a great movie. Um, it, it, it's, 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 it doesn't become boring, and they constantly reinvent themselves and make the film the, the films better and better. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's makes me very proud to be part of that uh, 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 of that universe. And yeah, I would I would hope to come back whenever. Maybe we'll see you again. <laughs>